What the hell are you doing here? My lord. I'm okay. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and celebrate the fact that I just hit, I hit 50,000 subscribers. I'm screaming, 50,000. I'm so thankful. And to celebrate that, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little Coraline doll. It might be a two day process, so I might as well just start this now because I'm never gonna finish it. So I'm gonna do a little sketch, see what I want it to look like, and go from there. I bought all the crap and I'm gonna show you, but let me sketch something out real quick. Let's see what it looks like. I'm in my little pajamas. Mm. I feel like a housewife. Oh, not me, Carlisle. I'll have a champagne. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, oh, that was the chair. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set the mood. I'm gonna light a candle. Silly, lily. Smells like lemons. Oh my God, I forgot the candy. Hold on. This is Trolley Sour Crunchy Crawlers. It's supposed to be like, I think it's like a jelly bean inside like a really hard wrapping. I don't know, let's figure it out. They look juicy, they look creepy and spooky. Just like Coraline. They're new. Silly Let's do blue for Coraline. Let's do that. Silly. I don't know how to describe this. It's like someone melted down a whole bunch of nerds and then dipped a gummy worm in it and let it harden. It's not bad, I like it. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. I can do your papers, Mr. Connor. <laughs> Doodle is done. I didn't want to take too much time on it, but you get the gist. Here's all the crap that I got from the store. I bought a whole bunch of crap. I'm also very frugal, so I'm gonna be using stuff that I already have, but I didn't want to buy a whole thing of stuffing. And I saw this girl on YouTube make hers out of like spider webs, like the fake spider webs. And it's pretty much the same thing. And it was only a dollar at Dollar Tree, so. <laughs> also bought a ghost, cause I thought it was cute. Yarn for my hair. I already had wire. It smells like metal. It won't burn in the, uh, it won't burn in the, yeah, it won't. I think it's metal. And of course, polymer clay. And this is Sculpty Oven Bake Polymer Clay. I was gonna go all out and like get a whole bunch of different colors, but girl, I'm not trying to spend that much money. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be irritated. So I'm just gonna paint on the outside of it. Let's just go into it. I'm gonna first make a little wire skeleton body. I think that's what everybody does. Oh, I need tin foil. Hold on. So I got my tin foil. I pretty much have everything ready to go. Come on, we get to all in. You are looking at my layout here. These tools are for painting. And then I think this is for sculpting. I stole this from school. I don't know where I got this. Okay, so I'm watching a tutorial. I just want to give credit because it looks really awesome. It's by Rachel Mat Matsky. Girl, thank you. I'm going to be following your tutorial. I'll be honest, this looks uh, pretty stupid. It doesn't look like hers. I just wanted to fill it up just a little bit with more wire. I hope this turns out okay. This is, working with this kind of metal is just nasty. My fingers is black. I can smell metal. I don't like the smell of metal. I'm gonna wash my hands. The tin foil head. She wraps a tin foil head around. So cute already. Okay, we got a brain. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the clay out real quick. Pray for me. Oh my gosh, creamier than I thought it was. What's up you guys? I kind of wanted to butt in real quick and let y'all know that this was very, very difficult. Um, it took me a good two hours to figure out how to do a face in this clay. Don't get me wrong, um, it was really fun, but Y'all, learning this was just a discovery. I do not have a background in sculpting whatsoever, so I was really trying my best to get those lips juicy. I had to redo them like three times. And for some reason, I always thought this clay was a lot harder, but honestly, it was almost like regular clay. It was kind of hard to work with, kind of hard to get smooth, especially since I didn't have all the right tools. For a second, I thought I actually got the wrong clay because this was so wet, so I had to double check multiple times. Here's me redoing the lips because they were not juicy enough, so I had to redo them, um, but I'm so glad I did because, like I said, I made them juicy or whatever.
So this is kind of where I am right now. I think I did pretty good. Not gonna lie, I think I did pretty good for not knowing really how to sculpt at all. I got those big juicy lips and like kind of a button nose. I think I'm gonna round off the face a little bit more because girl, my face ain't this chiseled. Why don't you say it to my face, huh? Say it to my face. I'm gonna throw this little man in the oven. Serve on up. I'm nervous to put this in there, so I'm like waiting for it to preheat. I'm just scared for my little bubba. My little bubba. I'm gonna call him my little bubba. He my little bubba. Can I just keep it like this? My bubba gonna burn. I just put him in the oven. Poor baby. I hope you survive. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Hello, I'm back. I made little hands. Look how cute these are. Hold on, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually make little fingers. I'll be back. I don't think I'm gonna film it because I'm gonna struggle. I'll see y'all in a bit. You guys, I'm screaming. Look at these little hands I made. <laughs> Hello! I don't know where you guys are from, but it's pretty cold here in Nebraska right now, so gotta warm up my hands. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired. It's just <laughs> <laughs> to you. To you. Y'all, I am so sorry you had to witness that I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear the tea? <laughs> Y'all, I'm losing my mind. I'm done. I'm freaking out. They turned out freaking awesome. The little hands. And then here's my face. Look how cute that is. This is gonna be her first major. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I lost my mind on Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I had a heyday with these. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and paint some gesso onto this real quick, and then I'm gonna go in with my acrylic paint. All right, I got my little guy here. So I got a whole bunch of clothes that I feel like I'm going to throw out anyways, and I got my sewing machine here. Um, I'm going to first make the body, and I think I'm going to make it out of this like t-shirt, and then try to fill it in. It's like a very soft uh, t-shirt. Then we're going to find some clothes, because he can't be naked. I'm going to go ahead and do that, do an outline. Hopefully I don't ruin this. My little mini-me. Oh, this is taking so long. I'm procrastinating. Him. This is him so far. Skinnier than I would have hoped. I thought I was going to make him thick. Whatever. So yeah, I'm going to make him an outfit. I'll show you out one second. So, jeans. I'm going to rip these up real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out um, a green olive trench coat out of this. Okay, so so far he has blue jeans. I tried to cut him a sweater, but it didn't work, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. And he has a hoodie. And it has the button, it, two buttons in the front. I am so tired. I pulled the all-nighter. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how I'm gonna do damn head because I'm struggling, or the the hair. I'm struggling. I have E6000, so I think I'm gonna do that and then twirl yarn. He is done! Oh my god, look at him! Oh. oh, I, you guys, I'm just in love. I love this guy so much, he's so cute, look at him! It's just a little mini me, 
so much fun to make. Highly, 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 highly recommend it. trying this out for the spooky season. He is in his little fall attire, like the stuff I normally wear all the time in fall. This is kind of my like go-to look. It's basic, um, but I wear it all the time. I definitely have some things that I would have changed, like the wiring of his hands. They're a little awkward, but you can move them around if you want. His hairline, we match! I about lost my mind uh, making this, as you saw from the clips previously. It's my little guy, he's my little man, but I'm still in my PJs that I actually ruined making this doll because I got some paint on it, but let's go ahead and switch this out. Okay, I am all changed up. Don't mind the wall, um, I'm actually rearranging stuff for a future video. It's funnier when you realize that the doll has bigger hands than you. Are you ready to go on an adventure, Bubba? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Bean a line or core bean? Come on, I'm using sticks. There's someone coming. Boy, he's leaning. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it, but I love you. You guys, like I said, this was so much fun to make. I can't, I can't believe I made it. As I said, there are definitely some things I would have changed, like the hands and how they move. I also would have figured out how to do the hair a little bit better, but I think it reads really well and it's all sturdy. Actually, I don't know if I would change anything on the face particularly. He's a little bit darker than my actual skin tone, but I think it reads well as a, in a doll. I think it reads well. I think it really does kind of look like me. Also, I probably would have made him shoes, but I really don't care. Anybody gonna look at his feet? I can't tell you how many, how much fun I had. It's sturdy too. Look at that. Ah! Oh, why am I getting emotional? Y'all, I'm a father. This is, it's so cute. When we get around that summertime, I'm gonna make him a little summer outfit. Look up to the camera. Anyways, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more crazy content. Uh, if you guys have any comments, suggestions, let me know. Or if you have a candy that you want me to go ahead and review, let me know down below as well. But if you want to see more, go ahead and watch some of the other videos. Of course, I'm crazy. If you guys want to see me next week, I come back and upload every Tuesday. I have a feeling we're already all declaring it spooky season. So let's go ahead and make it spooky right now. So I'm going to go ahead and... Try and post as much spooky content as I can. Let me know what I should do next. Bean a line. Like black bean but core line mixed together. Or core bean. Bean a line sounds like a stool softener. Core bean. Core bean. What the hell is your name?